Episode 10, Identifying Correctable Forms of Gastroparesis, Part 2. Gastroparesis Caused by GERD. EGG is the key to identifying curative treatment. Proper gastric motility is central to normal motility of the entire gastrointestinal tract. Similarly, EGG is central to understanding the normal functioning of a gut, and when things are out of whack. In order for gastric motility, and emptying to work properly, the stomach needs to be able to build a head of pressure, known as the gastric pressure gradient. This pressurization is created, when the stomach contracts in response to food entering the stomach, and is required to move food along into the antrum and intestine. This is only possible if the two sphincters of the stomach, function normally to maintain the pressure. Anything that changes the function of these sphincters will result in either loss of pressure, or excessive pressure buildup often resulting in the inability of the stomach to empty in a timely fashion known as gastroparesis. In the previous episode, we learned about dysfunction of the pyloric sphincter which impeded the passage of food. Once identified by the EGGGMA threshold, it could be cured with pyloric therapy 93% of the time. At the opposite end of the spectrum, is gastroparesis due to pump failure, caused by premature loss of pressure because of a weakened lower esophageal sphincter or LES. In this case, reflux of gastric contents occurs into the esophagus, and the gastric yield pressure is lost, resulting in collapse of the stomach and arrest of normal peristalsis. EGG may also diagnose this condition because the subset of 3 cycle per minute GMA is normal, but there is a predominance of GERD symptoms. Published research shows that this particular type of reflux-related gastroparesis, will resolve 85% of the time, following correction of GERD by treatments like Streta procedure, or Nissen fundoplication. That is because once the LES regains its strength, its pressure will always be 4 mm of mercury stronger than the gastric pressure gradient, and the stomach will resume normal pressure and contractions, returning the emptying time to normal. It is only through EGG that clinicians can identify these critical subtypes, and offer treatments that result in cure of up to 50% of gastroparesis and possibly dyspepsia. Join us next week as we explore how additional EGG subtypes identify those who may respond to gastric stimulators or pacemakers. Three CPM, helping to cure the incurable, working with GastroLab, the exclusive distributor and research partner for 3CPM in India. Visit gastrolab.com or phone on 088-8939-9914.